hey y'all and welcome to my channel and in today's video we got gunna heather rose and jai nice so jai posted a picture of a new ap watch that she got for herself on her instagram story and i'm guessing that heather must have asked gunna did he buy the watch for her because she recorded him on her instagram story saying that he wouldn't buy a cheap ap watch like that what you just said Oh. Y'all know that shade turned Jai up. She said, y'all real life obsessed with me. The difference is I can buy my own everything and I don't need a eager to do it. Then she put one, if you know me, you know, I'm grateful for everything I have and work hard for it. Two, I was addressing Gunna in my post because him and a bird made a video about me calling my AP cheap. Three, I would appreciate if people would stop playing victim on the situation they started. Four, y'all blocked for a reason. Stop making fake pages to watch me. Stop pillow talking about me. Stop worrying about me. So this whole time Gunna was trying to throw that week behind shade, he really did get Jai watch, y'all. She uploaded a picture to her Instagram and it said, but you did buy this cheap ass Rolex for my birthday, Gunna. You really mad I didn't post it. Then he got the nerve to say her AP cheap, but around here buying cheap Rolexes. Y'all, all this stuff be going on because Gunna love playing both sides. Then got the nerve to get on Instagram and say, I would never talk to a B about another B. Y'all assume anything. Nah, you just full of BS. That's all that is. All Gunna want to do is keep them in rotation. Just two weeks ago, he was with his ex, Lala. I guess she's supposed to be in his new video that's supposed to be dropping. Then he was just with Jai for her birthday. And now he's back with Heather. Like he really just on some other ish. So Heather ended up getting back on Instagram and responding back to Jai. She said, I can buy my own everything too. Just because it's not plastic everywhere doesn't mean it ain't there. But the problem doesn't lie between us. It never did. The problem is that boy, he lies to the both of us and clearly is a manipulator. I only ever entertained this ish on the internet from the jump because I was being called out my name for no reason and continuously talked about every day on live for no reason. I never made no fake pages to write anybody. I wrote Jai personally and told her her problem wasn't with me. It was with him. If she wanted to fight, we can do that. But she didn't. She wanted to keep going with the internet-ish. When I began talking to this boy, he told me he was not with this girl and he wasn't. I made sure of it before we effed around. And that's all I'm going to say. But now this circus has gone too far and it's hard to tell who the clown is from the outside looking in. It's really him. I can't even be mad because I done been in her shoes before too. I know how the eager over there kicking the other one. But I'm going to be the one that bows out and wishes y'all the best. It's all love on my end. This ish way too goofy and making all three of us look stupid. No one's winning. And I'm still in LA too. It ain't even about being ussy or none of that. Because everyone know I'm going to fight, win, lose, or draw. It's really just lame. Been lame. Okay, I do feel like Heather was wrong for throwing that shade low-key. And they keep saying that the problem isn't between them two, it's with Gunner. But they keep throwing shade at each other. I just feel like they need to realize they worth. And they can't be mad at nobody but they self. Like, a man only gonna do what y'all allow him to do. Y'all allowing him to rotate, allowing him to pillow talk, allowing him to play both sides. So why would he stop? He literally has the best of both worlds. He really having his way with y'all. Y'all are a part of the circus. But y'all leave y'all comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.